Hey there guys, it's Tom from Satori Graphics back again with another tutorial. Today I'm going to outline and go through what I deem to be three immensely helpful tips regarding logo design. I myself have a vast experience with logo and brand design. If you want to visit my portfolio website, you can have a browse and look at some of my past work. I have a vast experience in this field, so check it out. So logo designing. There are some things that you simply will not learn at college or university. And in my personal experience, understanding how to design the corporate identity to a client is something you might pick up along the way. The first point I'm going to make may be obvious to some of you, but others overlook this for sure. And I myself did not get this until I had actually finished going through my education in graphic design. I'm referring to vectors. I have an entire video on vectors, which you can watch by clicking the card in the corner of the screen. So let me start by saying that you must, 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 must design every logo in a vector format. This is for mainly two reasons. Firstly, it's flexible. A vector file can be saved to many common file formats, JPEG, PNG, GIF, etc. The second point is that a vector file can be scaled up and down to any size, any size whilst retaining crisp quality. That is because it does not use square pixels to create the shape, but rather uses mathematical points, lines and curves. If you see this image, you can clearly see how the same design would look scaled up both as a vector and a raster image. So that briefly outlines why you should only use a vectors for designing a client logo. Moving on now to my second tip, which is something I'm very passionate about. As you may know, there are websites out there that allow freelancers to find easy work. I myself did actually start working on one of these sites a few years ago. However, there are many bad designers out there who use them. There are people who claim to be able to design quote unquote professional logos in under a day. I can't emphasize enough just how important the design process is, especially when designing a logo or a brand. Many of the top tier brand agencies will actually spend weeks and sometimes months on one logo design. If you see here, this designer has spent several weeks on research alone. Why is the design process so important, you ask? Well, it is crucial to give it both time and effort because it allows your creative juices to flow. You need to explore many avenues and possibilities, refine and rework those ideas over and over until you reach the ultimate final design solution. I myself simply cannot see how that's ever possible in less than one day. On screen right now is my own design process. Each stage is crucial and it will really, really help you to benefit and rework your designs. You, re you want to reach the professional tier, the professional level, and as I said, I cannot stress enough how important the design process actually is. If a client wants the work done in one day flat, you may want to show them this process and explain to them why it's important. But with my experience, I've realized that there just, there just are some clients out there who are not concerned about professionalism, they don't want a high-end logo, they just want a cheap and surely design, which it baffles me, I don't understand why that is. Here are some images of not my work, but examples of people brainstorming and generating initial ideas on paper. Of course, they don't have to be neat. And as the teachers in math class always used to, sh used to say, show your working kids, show your working. But it helps to really generate amazing ideas if you give the project more time and effort. Here is a logo that a designer has run through the process and as you can see the entire development and it's it's paid off. It's a really it's a really great logo. For my third and final point, I want to quickly go through file formats and what you should be using to export your logo designs to your clients. Here is my Satori logo in grayscale and first of all I'm going to show you how to save to 
Adobe Illustrator file, native file. Now this is going to basically send your logo to a client and they can only open it in Adobe Illustrator. Now they will need this to send to other designers if they're designing a business card or need to make modifications. So you just go to File, Save As, Adobe Illustrator AI and Save. Need to move the screen, the uh, box down a bit here. Yep, and then just click save. And you want to make sure your your fonts are either outlined or you have permission. I outline my fonts and modify them a bit, so you can you have no problems with printing or sending. Now, if you go to save as and go to EPS, this will this will be for print only. It's mainly used for print actually, it's a very rarely used for web. And if you go to transparent here, you will save the logo with no background. And again, check for fonts and outlining typeface issues. Now, if you want to save the logo for web, obviously go to file, save as, save for web. And we're going to select PNG here. You can see the background is, uh, is transparent, so there's no background basically. And you want to click transparency for that and check your values here and click save. And of course the destination. And bring it up again here. And lastly, JPEG. I'm sure you know JPEG. Again, this is for web, so save for web. And you go up to the right corner here and click JPEG. I always put maximum quality in the top right there and check your value, values and go to save. This box is being a bit of a nuisance but anyway. And there you have it. Those are the four file formats I always use when sending my logo to clients. So there are my three tips for logo designing and to help you understand the design process, the file formats you need to be using, and as well what a vector is. Um, if you've managed to take something away from this, give me a thumbs up and I'm going to be making weekly videos again, I'm right back at it. So if you want to see a specific subject matter for in the next video, tell me in the comments down below. Until next time. Design your future today.